So the bottom line issue is not what economic system do you buy into? Why is that not the bottom issue? Because obviously, guys, because the solution to human problems is not money. Money's nice, but I can promise you, communism, socialism, and capitalism are not going to solve divorce, sexism, racism, violence, hatred, it ain't going to do it, That's guys. Because right, the followers of Jesus Christ have done really well in eliminating sexism, homophobia, racism, and all the rest. That's totally correct. I've completely forgot about the last, what, 2,000 years of history? Come on, man. Yeah. So, the proof is in the pudding. What are you doing? Good. Obviously, Dr. Martin Luther King did a little bit to fight racism in this culture. And he didn't was it? a socialist. No, he was a. Christian minister, guys. He was a socialist. He said it himself. Yeah, fine. But that wasn't the bottom line for Dr. King. The bottom line for Dr. King was he was a follower of Jesus Christ. Did he do it perfectly? No. None of us do it perfectly. But obviously, Dr. Martin Luther King, in his letter from a Birmingham jail, talks about why racism is wrong. And the reason racism is wrong is not because some state or some economic system says racism is wrong. The reason that racism is wrong is God creates every one of us in his image, which means we all have value, dignity, significance. Racism is a denial of the value and dignity of a human being. It's that simple. Socialism is not going to cure the world's problems. Neither is capitalism, neither is communism. They're all different economic systems. And I, as a follower of Christ, will live within whatever economic system I find myself in. But I can promise you, I will work for the well-being of human beings, not because I'm a capitalist or a socialist or a communist, but because I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. 